Oh, there it is. Oh, holy hoopty. I wonder what happened to that thing. <laughs> a lot. I think it was at a high school for a homecoming celebration. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Everyone will agree with me when I say nothing is more satisfying than breathing life into an old piece of junk, as the car owners call it. From dismantling it to removing the rusty parts to washing, adding new parts, polishing and painting it to making it a fresh design with the so-called rusty call is a triumph. And that is what Iron Resurrection is all about. It all started in 2016, when the reality TV show premiered on Discovery Channel's Motor Trend Network. The show follows all the actions at Martin Bros Customs, a car shop in the Texas Hill Country known for its excellent car services like renovation and designs. Martin Bros Customs didn't only renovate cars, they got the cars up and running again by adding modern touches and little punches of pizzazz to overhaul the old looks of the car. We see on many trends that fans try to compare Iron Resurrection to Pimp My Ride. The two shows are different. First, the name isn't the same. Also, Exhibit isn't the host of Iron Resurrection. Also, Pimp My Ride was more of exterior designs, they did nothing great under the hood, but Iron Resurrection was more of a total overhaul of the junkie into a jaw-dropping car. Many are familiar with the host alongside his wife, Amanda, but most of the cast are not known to the viewers, so we'll focus on the cast members of Iron Resurrection to find out what they are up to presently. Join us on this adventurous journey. Joe, the host of Iron Resurrection, has always been a fan of Boyd Coddington's craft, and because of the late designer's price, he invested in himself to learn from all available resources around him. Joe was able to start making his design in no time after a brief self-development. Joe was initially a car designer, but after his win at the biker build-off, he decided to shift focus on bikes as well. And because bikers were a thing in the 90s, he had to prioritize what was in vogue. Joe's brilliance with automobiles soon got the attention of the then Velocity Channel, now known as Motor Trend Network, and he was approached to host a show, Iron Resurrection. After a short reel was made, it got viewers' attention, and due to popular demands, Iron Resurrection was born. After the deal, Joe's wife Amanda left her banking job to become the financial egghead of Marin Bros Customs. The cast members of Iron Resurrection had one target, which was to resurrect old and dead cars. Joe had always been of the option that since they're not actors or actresses, they had better leave acting to the professional while focusing on being mechanics. That had helped the show stay on the right course without deviating from it. The show is free of repeated scenes, forced discussion, and irrelevant acts. So, let's discuss the cast members of the reality TV show. Joe Martin. The thing I love about this project is, probably the number one thing is we're in Texas. And in Texas, everybody loves trucks. Being a Texas boy, Joe Martin has always claimed Texas as his home, but he made it known in an interview that he was born in Illinois, United States. He later moved to Texas at age 10, which he now calls home. Joe Martin shot to fame after his exploits at Biker Build-Off and was discovered by the channel. Apart from being a TV personality, Joe is also a customer machinery designer, fabricator, and automobile customizer. Joe is married to Amanda Martin. You must have known her from Iron Resurrection as the financial whiz on the show. It seems the couple has a lot in common even though automobiles aren't Amanda's first choice, but now they're both TV personalities and business persons. Name a better couple's goal. I'll wait. After shooting her off camera, Joe loves to take some time off by going on vacation, of course, with his family. Does going on vacation include his kids? Joe Martin and Amanda live a private life, and nothing can be said about their kids. There's literally nothing about the kids online, even though they have been married for some time. Joe also works on personal projects off camera to create unique designs. Joe is a quiet and reserved person who has very little about himself and his family on social media. Hence, some information like kids, family, and a side business is unknown to his fans. However, he is worth around $1 million as of 2022, with most of his earnings coming from Iron Resurrection and other businesses. Amanda Martin Amanda grew up in Red Oak with her family. She and her siblings did their primary and tertiary education in Red Oak before leaving for Texas to explore other opportunities the world has to offer her. Amanda soon got an offer to work with Wells Fargo, rising in the ranks to become a bank manager in the banking and financial services company with offices around the United States. Her bank, Wells Fargo, is one of the largest banks in America and has consistently ranked among the top companies with over $2 trillion in assets, making them compete with banks like Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, Citigroup, and ICBC. 
Amanda worked in Wells Fargo for five years before moving on to Pioneer Bank, a much smaller bank than Wells Fargo. Even though Pioneer Bank is small in terms of assets, Amanda's experience during her spell at Wells Fargo was worth it as she served as assistant vice president for Pioneer Bank for two years. After a tenure as assistant vice president, Amanda was promoted to the position of vice president for another two years before she became the product manager and eventually the bank a few years later. During this time, her husband, Joe Martin, got the Iron Resurrection deal, and Amanda, who left her job for a better one other than the regular office job, saw it as a perfect opportunity for her. She and her husband then formed Martin Bros Customs to give us exceptional back-to-back -back episodes. Amanda's life is just as private as her husband's, but we know for sure that during her off days, she spends time with her family and goes on vacation. Due to her philanthropic acts and work with hospitals, there are rumors that Amanda and Joe Martin are blessed with kids, but their last child has been diagnosed with cancer, so it's understandable why they have refused to let the media know about their personal life. The family lives together in Johnson City, Texas, traveling and exploring the world together. Amanda, being a previous banker at a reputable bank, was able to build her wealth before joining her husband. She's reportedly worth around $800,000 as of 2022, with the earnings mainly from the show and her side businesses. Jason Martin Jason Martin is just as important to the show as the Martin couple. From his name, you can deduce that he is family. Actually, Jason Martin is a younger brother to the host Joe Martin, and he began his mechanic journey right at the Martin Bros Customs. Jason is a refined content creator and mechanic, and he has appeared on other shows like Final Recourse and Leap of Faith. Not much is known about Jason, but evidently, he has a family of his own and is said to be worth $200,000 as of 2022. Off camera, Jason works at his brother's car shop or spends time with his alleged family. Jason Shag Arrington Shag happens to be a longtime partner of the Martins, and he helps out with car renovations on Iron Resurrection. Aside from his role on the show, Shaq has received considerable acclaim in the marketing area in addition to his acting profession. Although Shaq rose to stardom as a member of the TV show, he is featured in movies like Breaking Point. Aside from acting, Shaq is also versed in event marketing, grassroots initiatives, sports marketing, consumer promotion, and athlete management. And this contributes a lot to his income which is around $500,000 as of 2022. Shag is happily married to Danielle Arrington Davidson, and both have been blessed with children, as seen on his social media posts. Off camera, Shag is an adventurer and a social media person, so he literally documents everything about him on his social media page. Aside from cherishing his family and spending time with them, he recently posted a picture at a basketball game with his family, and some think that he's either a huge basketball fan or he can cheer one of his sons up for a school game. Javier Shorty Ponce Shorty is another wonderful talent on Iron Resurrection that has a lot of supporters. He began working on vehicles as a child and has dedicated his life to the automobile industry. He helped with mechanical aspects of cars on Iron Resurrection and suddenly disappears after season 3, leaving fans worried. Shorty wasn't the only cast member who disappeared from the show. Others like Cato, Pompa, and Manny disappeared after season 3. Well, Shorty's doing fine, and he only left the show due to personal reasons. Shorty is now a grandfather and has a business of his own to run, so instead of dividing his time between the show and his shop, he would focus solely on his Dallas operation. His decision will make him spend more time with his family and also run his business full time since Texas is a three hour drive from Dallas. Life must be good as a grandfather. I can only imagine the joy on Shorty's face whenever he sees his grandchild running around the house. Wouldn't you love to spend time with your family regularly?